age of 15. And she just wanted to do what she wanted to do, and she didn't care. Her friends wanted to go hang out, and she wanted to go with them. And then, you know, then we had those mothers that work day and night to keep their children fed, shelter, right. dress. And, and, and they, they, they still some, some, some children rebel. Oh, yes, yes. The kids go, go away to school, they get into trouble. It's like uh, peer pressure. Exactly, Once peer pressure. Once they start going to high school, some kids in high school are Oh, like, yeah, forget. You know, yeah. that, that, the terrible ages from the age of 13 to the age of 16. So that's, that's, that's the age where the parents are supposed to be more stronger, they more understanding. Be, they know they have to be more tougher. And understanding of understanding. what they're going through. Right. At the age of 13 to 16, they, they need to be tough. Because the, the peer pressure could be very difficult. I think. It is very difficult out there. That's very difficult. Yes. And, you know, the name calling in school, the bullying, and uh, all that stuff needs to stop. Now, if, if they would put the uniforms back, like many, many years ago, I think we'll do a better Maybe job. Make it easier for the parents. Make, no, make it easier the for the children. The children because children who could afford country. it, who can't afford it, they still all be, be equal, equally. So it doesn't make a difference what you're wearing. Because if you if I have a $100 blouse and you have a $5 blouse on, they say, oh, they're see, that's the problem, right? Because this is where the peer pressure comes. Well, right. you have a $500 blouse and I have $50 blouse, May, maybe, 10, 15. Right. From, you know, one and that's when, that's when it comes, they start so stealing. So then I, I, you don't want to be my friend because it's actually, we're not at the well, same level. Level. Exactly. Your clothes is more expensive and my, mine is very... Right. And then the kids get jealous and they jealous. start getting into fights and they start ripping and they start... But that could be very hurtful. Well, that, that's why they're bullying. And that's, you know, but that's where the pressure probably started. You know, then you go home. You encounter the parents or the mother, single mother, right. working so hard, two, three jobs, barely making it. She's true. And then there is a child can afford a $50 blouse. Right. And then dress. some some parents just give them everything, whatever they want. And some of them is just so different, isn't it? Yep. It's, and and that's, that's where the, the, the problem comes in today. You know, I was in a meeting not too long ago. I was in a big event, about 650 people. And as we were sitting around, I this young, beautiful girl, like 15, 16, was eating. And then she just went by and put her plate in, in our table. Keep going. I was like, we all went like. Because they're rude. I don't know. That rude. was so, I thought that was so rude. Yeah, rude. They're rude. You yeah, know, and generation. the mother say nothing. Yeah, the generation. Because they're, because they're rude. Kids I are saw rude. the mother behind you and said anything. I mean, my, oh, if I find out somebody closest to me, my child, do that, I probably ask well, him to go and pick it up and apologize. Well, I'm, I'm here so many years and I, I know everybody in the neighborhood. I help everybody. If, if some parents don't, uh, you know, sometimes the, the teenage girls, they have trouble, you know, boyfriend ter troubles. They and come then over, the they talk to me. The, the boyfriend yeah, comes they, alone, that's it. They that's talk a to me. And I, I, you know, I advise them to go the right track and respect their parents, their mothers, and, you know, to try to listen. You know, I had a couple of my, my customers that they had their daughters, you know, they were dating behind their back and they didn't like it, you know, and pressure them. I told them, I said, might as well let the kid come to the house. At least you know who they're you with. You know, and you know what kind of kid is, what who they, they are, to, who what they, they are, to. where they come from, what kind of at least, family. Mm -hmm. At least you know who you, your kid well, is with. That's what you want to do, even if you don't like it. Even, even if, if you, you don't, don't like agree. it, you have to accept it. Yeah, because it's better to to know what your kid is up to. And you don't want to see, and you all, every mother out there should check their children's bags. They should check the kids' drawers because there's a lot of drugs involved. And they should watch them and make sure that they're not going the wrong track. The wrong track. Carmela, living in a uh, in a marriage with his children, and um, it's a lot of abuse going on, verbal abuse. The children hear all this bad language. This father well, saying this, mother the, saying that. The, like, the, the that, verbal that could be abuse. Very disturbing also. That could be very disturbing. My 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 father never cursed at us. My father never hit us. My mom did more of a, you know, with the school. The discipline. The discipline in the house. Because my dad used to go to work and, and do whatever. Um, my, my father only used to look at us. And we already knew. What he said. What he said. We didn't have to, we didn't have to. And if we answered back, it was worse. 
So yeah. might as well. Pretty if, much at a different if, if, Keep it quiet. If we had company in the house, we had to leave the table. So you just keep it quiet. We have to keep quiet and to keep it silent. We were not allowed to interfere into adult conversation. In today's world, the children are in too much of the adult stuff. And see what you said, what the mother is talking to. Exactly. What's going and, on and, and, the and children should not be listening to what adults are talking about. Remember because my it's mother, private. My mother, she was new, and we got me small, little girl. My brother, too. When we are done the house, so you want something, you ask. Never touch nothing or nobody. Right. Don't touch what See, doesn't belong. Yeah. Right. And right. you know, stealing. And send a reminder. Remind it's a whole do not. A reminder. But that's that's all of that. Right, but see, all of that come from yeah. home, right? We have of to course. do our best to discipline the kids. Not all the time we can do that. Of course. But anyway, Carmela, what would you say to... I, I understand that you were, you started to work at a very, very early age. Yes, I did. What would you think if one of your grandkids will wanted to start working at an early age. It's what fine. Would you say? There's nothing wrong with that. Will you encourage him? Of course. If my granddaughter is she's three years two years old, she takes the broom and sweeps the hair for me. She's working on it. She she, 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 goes, she goes, I'll help you, Noni. I'll help you. I say, okay, go. Just, uh, just say, one night the Milani told me uh she the uh lady money or late. So I just stop it and roll all over or no. She says I'm sorry gonna wash you away. I just says I cook late. And I was like, Kare, go, nonna. I help my nonna. That's beautiful. But that's, that's what she said. Well, I, I raised, I raised oh, my... Uh, that is so beautiful. Too, too that is so touchy. I raised my grandchildren in here. I raised my nephews in here. I raised my uh, my kids in here. So Every, Everybody came into in here. Everybody, everybody came into my store and everybody learned how to do something. If you, want to learn, learn. if you want to learn, if you want to do something, you always could do it. And in other words, there is no excuses for not doing anything. Exactly. Yeah. That's, that's a poor excuse. This There's always excuse. something to do with something. You don't want to work, you don't want to work. That's right. If you're lazy, you're lazy. Right. If you want to go to work, all these these laws and all this these things that are coming in with uh, labor laws and all this nonsense, Okay, they have to follow rules, but there's a limit of what you do. Well, the idea is, I the idea is that I'm thinking is to keep the children busy so they will. They not have get to. Drama. Well, years ago, the kids used to go to the delis. They used to stack the the shelves they used to up. Work in delis and right, and they used to cut, help out in the delis. But now you you ask a kid to come and do that for you, they tell you how much you want. They want a hundred dollars, a hundred fifty dollars a day. The, the owner doesn't even make that that, that profit. How is he going to pay the kid one hundred fifty dollars a day? So you kind of make it difficult my, in some way. One day, my son on a key, I lost all day long. And they do this boy. They do this boy. Look, 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 look. When the because he's touching no dark. When the Lord take one apple, could die back like that? Where do you go all day? Where do you go all day? I just found him a job. Oh my! Yeah, found a job at the Chicken Mark. Wow! He found a job at the Chicken Market on Forty Sixth Avenue. Wow! And he came home with the two bags of chicken, so my mother could cook it. Two wow. two bags of chicken. Wow! How beautiful! And she goes, I found and a job. Never forgot. And he went to never work there for a long time. Work, yeah. yeah, and after school, yeah. he went over there. That's nice. Yeah, he went to school. We all we all worked Lots after school. Nice. There's ben, nothing wrong ben of ben going ben. to school and and working. And working. There's I'm nothing wrong. Right. Right. You I'm kind of have to learn place. the discipline at a very early age. Yes, you do. And and I know all my friends Man, growing up at my time. Right. Well, he, he knows that he has to be disciplined. But well, at, at a young age, all of us we all went to work early, at a young age, and we all. We, we didn't make a lot of money, but that was pocket money. Right. That was in no, uh, uh, me too. The, well, the, the pocket money that we too. made, we, we helped our, our family to to get ahead, to purchase something, to to survive and to to live and to eat and eat well. 
you know, not that, you know, you telling a kid to go get a job and they're making, uh, they want to make eight, nine dollars an hour. Meanwhile, they don't even know what they're doing. You know, if you give a pocket money, I'm not saying give them a lot of money, but a couple of hours a day, make it 50. Keep, like I said, but I keep them busy. Keep them busy, yes. keep them off the street. Right, absolutely. You know, keep them off the you street. Know, if they're busy doing something constructive, you know, they, they wouldn't have time to start thinking about what what kind of, what can we do to... Exactly, you know, instead of hanging around. out, hanging around in the corners and getting themselves into trouble, or hanging out at the park and, buy and, cigarette, and buying cigarettes and smoking pot and everything else, that doesn't doesn't work. Right. In, in my my time. Right, right. But now is you know, so I'm modern now, I became a little modern. I'm still I still come from the old school. My my parents brought us up the old fashioned way. And I still respect them for that. Because we are who we are because of our parents. Absolutely. And yes. they brought us up of, of teaching us value of money and teaching us how to spend the money. And us, was, us as mothers have to teach and our children. A healthy life. And yeah, healthy life and teach our children how to raise their children. You just can't throw anything in front of them and say, oh, it's okay. Right. So Carmela, when do you have time for vacation? I don't have, I haven't had you vacation, don't, don't vacation in five years. Have no. I vacation? I haven't gotten vacation for five years. Why not? Because I'm, I'm busy doing things for for my son. You have so many, you, you know, you have a business. business. But now yeah, I'm fixing so my much. house and it's, it's, it's it costs money and I don't have time to. What about you, mama? When are you going on vacation? You're always busy also, yeah. active. I help Carmela, busy, cook, cook, you, clean. Yeah. Day. When I go on vacation, she goes on vacation. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah that's nice. I always take her. I, I took her to Vegas. I took her to Italy. Took her to Florida. You know, when I go on vacation, she so comes. I, I was to go back to Italy. I didn't go see my son in Florida. Oh, I'm yeah, you have my a son, son in Florida. Oh. House, la Florida well, nice. you, can send, you can say hello to your son in Florida. So, no, my son is over here now. Oh, it's over here yeah, he's here. Yeah, he goes oh, back and forth. He goes back and forth. Hi, Vinny. Hi, Susie. Congratulations. Say hello son. to everybody, Mama. <laughs> hello, everybody in my family. <laughs> Mama, so when you go back to Italy um, to see the old neighborhood where you were born, mm -hmm. was it like very excited? Was it like overwhelming to see the, the place where you grew up? Okay, my son will go, my grandson, sexy. Grandma, a beautiful, I don't know what to sell. Because I sell when he told me no time. I sell my house, I sell the proprietary in my, my in Italy. In Italy. Yes. Uh -huh. We sold it. Well, we know. still have some property, but oh, you know, okay. but, but not, not our own my house. My father law house on Jan Gorana. So it's, it will be nice that you can see. My sister in law inside the oh, house. She, she's, wow. And take a house. Yeah. I love Italy. I have the opportunity to be in there quite a few times. So, no, no, and no, it's no, like no. every place is better than another. No, yeah, it's it's beautiful. Well, Italy's beautiful so all over. So romantic. Yeah, Italy's beautiful all over. Mm -hmm. No matter where you go in Italy or... But right now, the economy there is so bad. It's, most, most, yeah. it's, most places. It's, it's most places, job, there's no jobs. There's, they're, they're not, nobody's making money. Everybody's trying to come here back. You know, they stopped coming here for many, many years. You know, back back in the sixties, you know, we had all the Europeans coming here and make trying to make money. And what they did is they made money and they went back to their country. Now they're stuck because they don't have any money left. Have, yeah, it's so just you know, I feel you're making money here in the United States. You should keep your money here. The government should not allow them to take money this out of New York. Right? And live here and so you be happy here. here. And be happy yeah, and and, and this, so if you accept it to become become to to New York. Whether you come from Italy, you come from Spain, you come from Ecuador or it, uh, Dominican Republic, if you come to the United States to make money, you should be investing your money in the United States, not anywhere else. Because you're making your money here and it should be spent here. Right. You keep it at home. Okay. Carmela, anyway, uh, we are almost concluding these programs. Um, any message to the mothers out there? All the mothers out there, I want to wish you a happy Mother's Day and uh, a successful day because that's, that's one day that each one of us ha has a mother and we have to enjoy them as much as we can and we have to respect them. 
because once they're gone, you're not going to see them any longer. So they're the ones that guide us and, and give us give us life. So be happy and enjoy what you have. That is so beautiful. What a lovely message. What about you, Mama? What can Happy you tell Mother's you? Day, everybody. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. Oh, yeah, in Italy, everywhere. Everywhere. There's so many mothers out there. Wonderful, Wonderful mothers. mothers. Well, everybody has everybody a mother. Have a mo everybody, everybody has a mother. A mother. <laughs> right. We all, we all came out of a woman. I have a mother, you too. Oh, thank you, Mama. Mm. Oh, thank you. But see, that's that's such a special connection between mother and child, isn't it? Yes, it is. I'll, 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 it's, nobody it's, will it's take a mother's a, place. Oh my goodness, nobody. Nobody could nobody. ever the take a mother. The father can marry many times. The mother also, but that child is I always yours. It's always yours. Better. You carry them into this world. Always in the heart. Yeah, I wish you had to see you better. Yes, always in the heart. It's, yep. It's such a special thing to be a mother. It is special. Yes. It is special to be a mom. Yes. Because your job is never done. Never done. Oh, never done. This is a job for the rest of your life. That's it. Once you have that child, it's, it's your responsibility to take care of them, whether they're 10 years old, 20 years old, or 100 years old. Wow. That is so wonderful. Anyway, Carmela, I want to thank you so much for You're this welcome. opportunity. You're welcome. And the same to you, Mama. Okay, thank, thank you so thank you, much. You too. Thank you. you. I mean, it's we'll just come such a privilege. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. It's such a privilege to have you here, and I want to wish you the best Happy Mother's Day ever. Okay. Hope you Thank have you. a lot of fun. Thank you. The kids cook for you. Yeah, might be. Yeah. Might to come be. to my, my restaurant. What kind of surprise? <laughs> might be. Might be go to a restaurant and no cook. Yeah, no. Doesn't have to cook. Oh, that's the best. Scared. Well, anyway, that's the best. I'm not scared of anyway. to cook. Yeah. I cook a Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Camela, we well, thank you so Thank much. you. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. Have a wonderful Mother's Day, everybody. Love you. And until next time for Radio TV Lux in Francamente International. See you. Ciao. Everybody, Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. Happy Mother's Day.